I just found this beautiful little robin who was had basically flown straight into this bus shelter, smashed itself and was on the floor upside down and I thought it was going to go. I thought we, we'd lost you. But I've just been holding him for the last 20 minutes and he's looking around and I think he feels a lot better. So, <laughs> Robin, you're just such a wee miracle. He's moving his head now, which is awesome. I've never held a bird ever, apart from in a wildlife park where um, falconry where you put on the big glove and the owls come and sit on your or the eagles come and sit on your arm but this wee guy I'm so happy for him he's I said to him I'm not gonna leave you I'm not gonna leave you we're gonna get here now the thing is I'm waiting for a bus <laughs> so I'm hopefully he's gonna sit on my hand and I can get him to a vet um, but he just appeared right in front of me and I think it's a sign I think my white feather sign has gone to red robins I mean, I used to grow up with them, spotting robin redbreasts and saying, oh, look at them, and you can never see them long enough because they fly away. And this wee guy has just been sitting in my hand for the last literally 25 minutes, half an hour, and my bus hasn't come. And I think there's a reason for that. I was meant to talk to him and help him feel better, and I want him to fly. So I'm just so thankful for this robin. I was feeling a bit down, and, and he's totally cheered me up and... I'm all about service and how can I help you? How can I help you? Yes, you turn, you turn your head. How can I help you? Oh, so good. Your neck's moving again and your eyes are open. You're gonna make it. Thank you and here's bright blessings to everyone. Save anything, save a living thing, save a bird, save yourself. <laughs> We're all here to help each other bright blessings and happy 6th of October. <laughs> Here we are on the bus and he's doing really well. He's actually looking around. He's quite curious. I'm trying to get him to a vet. Yes. And in the meantime, I just bumped into Gerald, my uncle, who I've not seen for a long time. And this is the first time I think I've ever gotten this bus. Well, at least in the last probably 10 years. So, <laughs> And uh, that's Ross over there. He's a bus driver. <laughs> so we're making a whole big day out of it. <laughs> and this wee bird has no idea what's going on, but I'm on a mission to save him. So I'll keep you posted. Well, I finally got little Robin to a pet place. We need to find out, he survived the bus, <laughs> but we need to find out if this pet shop can help because I really want to get him to a vet. So I'm still looking and it does say dogs and cats on this place, but if they're with animals, then they probably know better, more about animals than me. Meanwhile, he's doing really, really well. Feels like he actually wants to fly. So if there's no luck here, I'm taking him back to my place. I'm going to let him free in the grass. Thanks, I'm so excited. I've just found this lovely lady who's going to take me. What's your name? Jane. Jane, she's going to take me and Robin to the vet. So in her car, because I don't have the car today. Thank you so no much. Worries. I'm just, I'm just uh, <laughs> taking a wee film of it. Oh, we're going to find help for you. So excited. Oh, so please look at this. This is just brilliant. Wow, it's one miracle after another today. This is just brilliant. Pay it forward. Here we are at Glasgow's own vets. I'll finally find a place. So pleased. <laughs> I'm just saving this wee robin redbreast. Yeah, right. So we're gonna bring him in. Oh, I'm so pleased for you. <laughs> oh. Okay, I think my mission is accomplished. Oh, I just, um, I just found this wee robin redbreast. I'm just filming it because I can't actually quite believe the whole story. <laughs> and he was lying like on his back as he flew into a bus shelter. And I think he was about to die. Okay. And I've just been holding him for the last like 40 minutes. Uh -huh. And he feels like in my arm, in my hand, he feels like he kind of wants to try and fly. Okay. So and he feels me heart beating quite, okay. quite fast. So can I leave him with you? you? Yeah, um, I'll go and get something to put him in. Yes, yeah, that'd be You'll awesome. Be and then, yes, I can, I can yeah, do that. And then do you just, want, want, I leave him with you and then you'll just put him outside? Um, we might do that. Um, we've got um, contacts at Okay. 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 Um, but otherwise, what I might do is just observe him. 
Okay. He looks like he's managing to hop about flat. Perfect. Just have been stunned. Oh, yes. Yeah. Gosh, I can feel his, wee, his, his heart beating really fast now. I've been on the bus for about the last half hour. Oh, no. Oh, careful. Oh, Look at your wee I don't want to leave him. Oh, let's say goodbye. <laughs> Bye. I've got to leave. Oh. Well, that's Robin gone and he's in good hands and I'm so happy, but I also feel sad because that was... Wow, that was so sweet. We actually bonded and I could feel his wee heart going quite fast. Now I'm going to go and find Jane, <laughs> my ride, and she's so kindly offered to take me on my way home. So, ah, what a wonderful, magical, miraculous morning. Get my head outside of myself and be of service. Hi. So, for those of you who were following my rescuing the robin red breast yesterday, or the day before, might have been yesterday, gosh, it feels like a long time ago now, I called the animal hospital and they told me that he flew away. So, I'm really, really glad. He was, he was healed, he was rescued and he managed to fly. I'm so happy about that. And then this morning, I was sitting in the living room on the phone to a friend and I looked down on the dining room table and I realised that there was a placemat sitting there and you'll never guess what it was. It's been there the whole time. I can't believe it. It's got coffee stains on it. It's old. It's not even mine. And it was sitting there right in front of me. So this little guy is definitely my new sign. <laughs> and I'm so grateful. So grateful to him. So look out for your miracles today and be aware of the magic around you. This is Maddie Sparkles and yes I have written my children's story based on this adventure and it's going to go in a collection of short stories all in rhyme so I'm very looking forward to bringing that out. Thank you so much, bye!